it's your boy Rez now, and you here for the second episode, count it, the second episode of The Corner, and this time I brought along a few friends, but before we get in all that, I'ma set it off with a little freestyle, you know how we get it, it's about that time, let's get it, The Corner, Rez now, uh, I rock my ass off like a body rap, it's a rap, everybody knows who's attacked, a too sick dude, gotta get him now, coffin, put him in the coffin, I'll rap, get smashed with the cash that you putting out, you bitches ain't shit like I ain't took you out Get the metaphor, I'm headed for a big cloud of pen of these jeans I'm a teen, y'all ain't even sprout Y'all ain't fucking with me, y'all ain't fucking know me Why you fucking mad, D, just to get on I've been flowing this heat, got to quick to repeat Cause I'm killing these beats and I'm dead on This one should've been killed, final destination Had to give it justice, go through litigation Now I'm taking this shit to another level Top floor, I'm a floor, you can't reach a pedal I'm a rebel, need metals cause I've been running this Fuck too long, every song is had me some loving mitts you sound like tricky tits, more like crazy dicks Eating down south, sound like some fish and grits Whoa, Red Snow, the corner yeah. So Aaron, motherfucking kill your best friend Hernandez is in jail for the remainder of his life And get this, the jail is right next to Gillette Like, literally, like, if, if, if he had one of those bars that didn't have a window, he could throw a rock and probably hit the stadium where he was once getting millions of dollars. Now this motherfucker be lucky to get some canteen money. He's gone. Ain't no coming back for him. Is it just me and when I saw him in that courtroom and they told him that he was charged with first degree murder? I almost expected him to pass out and do the yeah. Coming soon, 2016, Aaron Hernandez. The longest yard, two. Just like the episode, two. I, two. I, so, ladies start writing to him. He'll be more than excited to get them conjugal visits popping. I know he's gonna be looking out for y'all because he ain't got no bread no more. Even his fucking baby mama left his ass, left him in the dirt. She fucking testified on him. I haven't seen an Aaron fall off that hard since Aaron Carter. Did anyone see Drake get kissed by Madonna? Oh my God. That bitch sucked the soul out of his life. She fucking laid eggs in his stomach and shit. It was like I was watching a movie Alien or something. Dead ass, I swear to God, she opened her mouth and if you look close enough, you see another one of Madonna's little heads poking out her mouth. It was fucking crazy. She was kind of almost eating Drake like, like a Drake. Like a fucking, you know, you get it? The fucking, the Drake cakes. No, it's okay. Moving on. Drake looked like he was gonna fucking throw up. That shit made me as the viewer almost throw up. I swear to God, I was eating a sandwich. I was like, oh, 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 oh. You think he had the taste of like polydent in his mouth after that? I wonder if she converted him to Habala or whatever that shit is, or Cabal. Whatever, you know, like the Mortal Kombat dude. Bing. Shout out to Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat X coming soon. Give me a free copy, what's good? Did y'all see the video of Rihanna doing coke? Now, I don't know, I, I'm, not, I'm not here, I'm not gonna stand here and say that it looked like she was doing coke, but it looked like she was doing coke. And you know what, it's okay. You'd be doing coke too after Chris Brown beat your ass a few thousand times. I heard Rihanna was doing coke. I heard Amy Winehouse did drugs. I heard Whitney Houston did crack. I heard Jimi Hendrix did LSD. Snoop Smoke, weed? Get the fuck out of here. Drugs and insane business, not new. Everyone fucking does it. You know, when I pop, you know, you're gonna see me partake. Rihanna holla at me. <laughs> Both of us do a line. Song lines, not, 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 not real lines. We don't condone that over here at the corner. Boogie's looking like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone see that dumb bitch, Rebecca Francis, with that picture she did with that fucking giraffe, just lying down smirking and shit? I wanted to smack the shit out that bitch. You don't take my childhood and just shit on it like that. You don't kill Jeffrey from Toys R Us and lie down with that motherfucker and think I'm gonna be okay with that shit, cause I'm not. That motherfucker told me I didn't have to grow up, man. I'm a Toys R Us kid. On a serious note, that bitch needs to die like ASAP. I'll get a shotgun, I'll blow that bitch's head off and I can lie next to him and smile like this, like, stupid bitch. I hate bitches. Newsflash, Hillary Clinton back trying to be a president. And guess what? This is probably not gonna happen again. I mean, Come on, do you want someone with PMS running our country? This bitch is gonna bleed all over everything. One bad day, she's just gonna hit that button. Everyone's gonna explode. She gonna fucking nuke North Korea, South Korea, Asia, Africa.
Africa. She's gonna keep pressing that button. The secretary of the office is gonna walk in there and gonna catch her eating a box of bonbons or something. It's gonna be rap. Warfare. <laughs> I'm just playing. I feel like a female president should be in office, but I don't know if she's got it. I don't know. Time will tell, right? You know what? I kind of do want to see her in office, though. I want to see my homie Bill. Clinton, bitch! Did y'all hear? David Sterling's mistress now owes this motherfucker's actual wife $2.6 million motherfucking dollars. Ain't no pussy in this world worth $2.6 million. She got caught the same way he got caught with the fucking tapes. As soon as they played that in the courtroom, Boom, this bitch had to owe all that bread back. Even things as frivolous as a $12 panty she had to fucking pay out of pocket for. And a dollar donation. A dollar donation at CVS. This bitch had to give that money back. That's some G-ass shit. She's smart. Maybe she should be vice president with Hillary. Let's make it happen. Clinton, bitch. 2016. Got my motherfucking vote. Let's get it. Make it happen. Hook me up, let me be part of the cabinet, we can get down. And still fuck you, Donald Sterling. Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, fuck him. And of course, we had to talk about the Boston bomber. But wait, hold on. I'm getting something. And was... oh, uh. Hello, hey, how you doing? This is Nine Mills with the piece of shit of the day. And we're going to be talking about a lot of pieces of shit, because there's a lot of pieces of shit around here. But the piece of shit we're gonna talk about today, this fuckface right here. Guilty. Piece of shit. His name is Johard Zanayev, or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce the shit. I don't give a fuck. The topic of discussion is whether this fuckhead should get the death penalty, or if he should live the rest of his life in jail. Personally, I don't give a fuck what happens. Pieces of shit, they stay far from my mind, but figured I'd talk about it. This motherfucker, say he does go to jail. What's, the, what, what's his day gonna be like? He gonna wake up, get fucked by some big, ugly, grizzly motherfucker. Then he's gonna have some shit lunch, probably spitting his food, because the cafeteria people ain't gonna like him, they're probably American. So after fucking a shit lunch, he's gonna go to the showers. I assume he'll be raped again, hopefully stabbed a few times, shanked. He'll go back to his lonely fucking cell and think about his dead brother every night until he rots away and dies. Or, the other thing is we can electrify him. If this piece of shit dies and that's, the, and that's what they wanna do, the motherfucker, I want to see it. I want to see it. I see it. They killed this motherfucker. Because you know what happened with Bin Laden. They, you know, they killed this motherfucker and dumped him in the sea. Ain't nobody seen it. I want to see him dead. If we do kill this motherfucker, in their religion, you know, they go up to heaven and they get 72 virgins. I'm not, I'm not a religious person. I, I don't believe that any god or any religion is right. But say his religion is right. 72 virgins? I need that right now. I ain't blowing nobody up. I've been a good person. I wouldn't. I wear a peace sign. I want world peace. I don't got 72 versions. If we kill this motherfucker, he gets 72 versions. You the piece of shit, America. You the piece of shit. If he does get the death penalty, though, it should be something cool. Some real cool shit, like, let's strap him to the fucking starting line or the finish line of the marathon next year and have everybody trample him. You know, I'm talking about infants. Let the dogs go in it. Let's get horses, all that shit, and just run them over. And do two laps. Let's do two laps this time. Yo, another death penalty we could do is we could have Suge Knight get out of jail and get this motherfucker in front of his car somehow. That shit would be popping. He's talking about how America's so awful and such a bad place. Fuck you, man. If it's such a bad place, how the fuck are you over here for as long as you were over here learning our shit, talking to our people, going to our colleges? This motherfucker ain't shit. His daddy ain't shit. Brother wasn't shit. he never be shit. He's gonna die in some shit. I bet his car is a piece of shit. This motherfucker's a piece, piece, piece of, of shit, shit. Motherfucker die or rot in jail for the rest of your life. But on a serious note, America, this piece is a shit everywhere. And I mean everywhere. This happens to be one of the biggest pieces of shit. But our country was founded on pieces of shit. Shit grows from pieces of shit. And that's why America's beautiful. So, think about that. America. Alright. Today, we're going to be making Hennessy chicken wings. This is cooking with Charlie Gunner. So we're going to cut up some green peppers, onion. I think you got the party wings. Fresh young chicken. You're going to use a tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to take this chicken, a little salt, a little fucking pepper, you know what I'm saying? I throw onions and peppers over that chicken while it's cooking. That way it tastes phenomenal. You want all those juices. Green for the money, baby. Yeah, and we got that gold handy for them honeys, you know what I'm saying? Any type of honey, 
You can do that like 10 minutes with the aluminum foil and then you do like 10 to 15 minutes without it. That's just for the caramelization of it. Right. Set your oven to 350 degrees. I love making sauces and gravy, nigga. Use a tablespoon of oil or to your liking. Throw a little bit of this in there. Use like two tablespoons of garlic. You can use like a tablespoon of pepper. This is a basic three seasonings for any sauce. We're gonna throw some green peppers and some onions in this one put them. And then you're gonna throw your henny in there. Oh yeah. Hennessy, baby. Uh oh, nigga. We'll put a little bit more. But blacks. Do you want a shot of this? Ow. I use some honey. I can smell the Hennessy cooking out. That smells fucking good. Oh my god, it smells good. Cup of water in there. So let it sit for about a minute or two until it starts to boil again. Cup and a half of water and cornstarch. What you do is you use cold water for cornstarch. Otherwise, it just clumps up. I pour about a quarter of the can in there to get where I want it to be for consistency. Pour that in there. You can let this sit with a cover or not. I like using non-covers. I'm gonna spice things up. Montreal seasoning. Hit you off with a aye, aye, aye. It's three of them babies. Two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna get ready to take our chicken out. We're gonna cook our chicken in the sauce I just made. 10 to 15 they've been cooking for. Get ready to take our chicken out. Look at that. Look how good that looks. And they're gonna cook even more when they're in here. I kept my gravy on low heat. What you can do is let that sit 10 to 15. All right, so now we're about to take these out. Look at that. And if you wanna throw extra sauce on it later, feel free to. But right now, we're about to eat some more of chicken. You had just eaten Hennessy chicken wings with Charlie Gunner. And Lord knows, I'm about to get drunk in the motherfucker after this. Cause everything's good when you got some motherfucking chicken. And we out. And like that, we go. And that's the end of the motherfucking episode. If you like my shit, please subscribe, like, share. Make this shit spread like wildfire. Show your friends, show your mom, show your pops, show your grandparents, show the side chick, show the local crackhead down the street that keep asking you for change. Show your pastor. Ladies, show you got a conscience. Click that fucking subscribe link. The corner, I'm your boy Resno, and we out. Bye.